Hey guys, so this is a fan-made story about a Separatist holdout. Um, so enjoy this uh, video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in, in my other next videos. Unimeron was a uh, world in the Outer Rim. It had a long history of, of independent free movements wanting to be free from the Republic during its days of its corruption. And during the near time of the Clone Wars, the people uh, had this independent free movement, which they wanted to join the Separatist Alliance to leave the Republic. And so when the Clone Wars finally did happen, uh, the people of Yenimuron wanted to support the Separatists fully and committed their war effort against the Republic and its clone armies. They also had droid factories there too, which they constructed massive armies of droids at their own disposal, and with the help of their many allies that broke away from the Republic, managed to hold out the, the clone armies of the Republic for years. Until finally, in 19 BBY, I, um, Order 66 happened, which the clones uh, executed and killed many of their former Jedi generals, during the Clone Wars, and when the Jedi fled, some Jedi fled to Yenimuron, where they wanted to get away from the eyes of the newly formed Galactic Empire. Yenimuron became a Separatist holdout, and knew that the Empire would come for them, so the people spent years training, getting prepared for the inevitable battle to come. It was inevitable that they have the Empire would be coming after them, so when they decided to reactivate their droid armies, as well as their new super battle droid type, um, BZ0012, which was a new droid type during the end of the Clone Wars. This droid type was specialized in melee combat against, well, close combat combatants. Finally, when the Imperial military finally arrived on Ymiron, um, the Imperial military um, unleashed its full might um, against the Separatist holdout, and even though the people in Unimeron fought very well against the, the Imperial military for nearly almost a year, basically holding out against the Imperial military's might um, for, for like a year, and even though the people fought valiantly and well against the Imperials, and at this time, remember, they had clones at this time, they didn't have actual humans until finally the clones did get replaced, um, the Imperial military managed to conquer the world, and Unimbaron would never be an independent world ever again. The Separatist Hellout was taken over by the Empire, and the people would be enslaved by the Empire. The planet would never be free throughout most of the Galactic Civil War, until finally after the death of Palpatine and Vader at the Battle of Endor, which finally broke the Empire's will. And finally, the planet would be freed under the new the Rebel Alliance, which became the new Galactic, the new Republic, basically. This tells the end of Unimeron ever since. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe, like, and I'll be making more videos like this in the future. So just hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.